And I'm wondering throat. if it's psychosomatic. What, that you think you have a sore throat? Yeah. And you're going to be singing tomorrow? For the first time. Ever. Ever. You're going to have like, to... So I got this stuff. <laughs> Straight spray. Because I hope it's going to work. Yeah, I already hope it's going to work too. This could ruin everything. Can you imagine if my career... <laughs> like, just... Your career is on the line here. sabotaged. <laughs> Imagine if I have to say I'm sick for my very first appearance. Oh my god, they'll never ask you to sing again. And I'm still, I'm wondering already how long it's going to be before rehab. <laughs> like how much time do I have for rehab? The countdown begins. Will it be in the first year? <laughs>
Marie Claire and so we'll link good. him in the yeah, description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can link to Martin Eastwood and Marie Claire Bayard. And then it was raining so hard that I could hardly get home. And it was actually, my windscreen wiper came off, so it was kind of flapping and squeaking and I was terrified because it was torrential rain and I couldn't really see. Okay, so I'm leaving the Now Media office, which is just across the road, and it's really raining. Wow. I've never seen it. I mean, okay, I have, but like, it's really bad. It's torrential. So then I had to go to London, and while I was there, I decided to go and get hypnotized because I've started to clench my jaw a lot. And I, I know this is a thing that a lot of people, a lot of my friends are saying they do it too. Like, it's just tension, it's stress, mm -hmm. clenching the door. Um, but it, in, it ends up being very painful and it ends up fucking up your teeth because like you cut off the blood flow to your, to your gums. And apart from that, it makes it hard to sleep and it causes tension everywhere else and it's a real pain. Yep. So I went to this guy called Dr. Hash. Hello, Dr. Hash. <laughs> Hello, Victoria, hi. It's his real name. In Mayfair. So, Victoria. Yeah? <laughs> I'd just like you to start to feel a little bit relaxed, okay? Okay. Okay, so one thing I have to do, and I actually really enjoy doing it every week, is I buy as many newspapers as I can, and I just read them with the thought in my mind, what can, what opportunities are in here for my clients mm -hmm. to get. If one of them has a yacht, I say, hey, why not be in the financial Easy. <laughs> so it's kind of like you think, it, think, okay, what's interesting about me, you know, have I got red hair? Am I super sexy? Have I got huge boobs? Um, have I got a really interesting job? Have I got a really interesting house? Yeah. You know, have I got a good family story? Did something weird happen in my family? Like even me, like I got myself in here because I didn't meet my dad until I was nearly 30. So I wrote a whole piece about that. Oh, yeah. he, didn't, he didn't really like it. <laughs> That's another story. Um, if you've got a beautiful house, they love you for the house and home section of the, and all the Saturdays and all the Sundays have a house and home section. Maybe houses. you're into food, maybe you're like a really good cook. Maybe you've got a restaurant or a cafe. Or a maybe you've got a good food store. <laughs> Looking through and seeing what are they covering? You know, is there a way that somebody I know could get that kind of coverage? And who do I need to talk to? Yeah. Actually, I really like this guy, David. David Tang, I have to tell you a funny story. So me and Shane went on one Valentine's Day, we were in London and you know on Valentine's Day everyone goes out and it's yep. quite hard to get a table anywhere if yes. you want to go out for dinner. So we hadn't got a table anywhere and we were like, where we go Valentine's Day? So I said, why don't we go to the Dorchester? Um, okay then the crisps are good too. Well, that's Europe. Well, I like the crisps. Well, I hate crisps. <coughs> you haven't touched your mustard. I did touch it. Look. <laughs> so we went and we sat in the lobby of the Dorchester and we met. Kate Moss and Pete Doherty and they came with us and we had champagne and then we met Jerry Springer. Look at you two. I was back to text you. <laughs> okay, so, Pete so, Doherty. So yeah, so we were sitting there having our, our uh, like Valentine experience and then they said why don't you come downstairs to David Tang's restaurant. David Tang. That's David Tang. Well he's now Sir David Tang. And um, so we went down there. And Jerry Springer was there sitting on his own. Oh my god, on yeah. Valentine's Day! On Valentine's Day, and not only that, but he said to us, Hey, can I join you guys? And we were like, Yeah, you're Jerry Springer. And he said, Can I buy you a bottle of champagne? And we were like, Yeah, of course you can. And he said it was his birthday, and he was on his own. Oh 
Oh my god. I know. So we had a lovely chat with him and he Jerry. said he said to us, look, I just want to give you one piece of advice. Never ever ever go on my show. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> You're exposing Jerry's right now. I'm sorry.